Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create your own user defined function or to create your own formula or if you want to call certain function from any of the subroutine then definitely you have to create your function in the excel vba module so this is the syntax of this function and let's see how this syntax work the function should begin with an access specifier either public or private if you make the function as public then it can be accessed by any other module so that means subroutines and functions which is present in any other modules can access this function also you can use this function as a formula in that workbook if you declare the function as private then this function can be accessed only within the module and you cannot use this function as a formula in that workbook so it this is an optional parameter your function may or may not contain this access specifier followed by the function keyword function this keyword function is a mandatory one followed by a function name this name should not be the reserved keywords of excel vba and it and it can be any name but it should not be a, but you have to ensure that it should not be the reserved keywords and this function may contain an argument or may not contain an argument the number of argument depends upon how you are using this function and you can also specify the data type of arguments inside this parenthesis and your function inside the function it should contain some instruction which define what this function does and finally an output should assign to the function name if you want to exit the function then you can use a command exit function before it reach the end of the line if you use the exit function then function end or terminate at this point and return the value what it was captured just before that or else it will execute and finally it return what the final expression is your function should end with a keyword end function so this is a basic overview of uh, function syntax of the function and uh, let's see practically how this function work i have created a new workbook and inserted a new module here i am going to create one public function and the name of the function is add because i want to add two integers so here i created function with two argument separated if you have uh, many argument you should separate by comma and inside this function i'm creating a variable c on the data type of the variable is integer this she, this uh, variable c store the sum of two two arguments a and b and finally i am going to assign the sum to the function name so this is a simple function here we have just created a function name and it contain two parameter and inside the function i have created a new variable and and in this variable the sum of these two integer get stored and finally i have assigned the value of this c variable to the function name add so that this function return this value that is uh, this c value to whichever subroutines or function calling this one so here uh, you should notice that i have declared this function as a public so i can use it as a formula as well if you want to use this as a formula you should uh, uh, type an equal to operator followed by the function name if you type a few word one or two word you can able to find the function name listed in the drop down so my function name is add which i could able to find that and i have to pass a two parameter because you have to pass two parameter because it depends upon the number of parameters uh, which is present inside the function so i want to add two number say 10 and 15 so i have passed those two parameter and click on enter it display the sum because now my function acts as a formula as well so this is one simple example and if you 
make this function as private then you cannot use this function as formula here is if you see you cannot find the function name listed in the formula bar so I'm just making it as public and I'm creating a subroutine called check here I have created a new variable called sum and I'm going to use this function to add two numbers say 25 comma 20 so this variable sum add this two number by calling this function add and store that output in this variable if you want to see the output then you should use debug.print command so it successfully displayed the output 45 and one more thing is here I have created as a public so I can move the subroutine to any module and if I call this subroutine if I execute the subroutine it display and it can able to access the function which is present inside the module 1 but if I make it as private and if I execute the subroutines which is present in the module 2 it will throw a compile error because it's saying that subr function not defined it is not able to find the function called add uh, because this is not defined as uh, public or it's not present in the same module so this is how a function work thank you for watching this video please subscribe